congratulations uh, on the uh, anniversary. Um, let's talk about where the business has come from uh, and where it is now and where it's going. Um, this is a company that in many ways has changed much over the years, but we've also seen over the last more recent period a great deal of shuffling of, of the Merck portfolio. What is Merck now? How would you define Merck? What kind of a company is it? Well, what started as a pharmacy in uh, 1668 here in Darmstadt in Germany is now a global vibrant science and technology company that works in the fields of innovative pharma research, biotech, lab materials, as well as electronic materials, display materials. So everything we do is based on science and technology and research and innovation. Are you satisfied, uh, Mr. Oshman, about, about where the company is now? As I say, in the last kind of couple of years, you have shuffled the portfolio. You've offloaded businesses, uh, P&G, etc. Uh, uh, some fairly big transactions. Are you comfortable with, with what Merck is now? I think if a CEO is comfortable with where the company is right now, that would be, that would be dangerous. But we are satisfied with uh, the basic architecture of our company. We have three strong pillars, healthcare, life science and performance materials. And we see a lot of synergy in terms of technology between these, between these businesses. We're making great progress in digitalization. We see that our healthcare pipeline is full with interesting new projects. Our life science business is booming. We've recently seen some headwinds uh, from currency and in our uh, liquid crystal business, primarily, uh, primarily in China. Uh, we're working very hard on uh, enhancing the momentum in this business. What are the most uh, what are the most important products that you've got in the pipeline, Steph? And I'm looking at uh, notes from analysts talking a lot about uh, Mavenclad, talking about Bavencio. That seems to rival some of the other immuno oncology drugs out there. Um, why do you think it could be a success? Well, we have, uh, you know, after some period of, uh, how can I say, dryness in our pipeline, we have been very happy to be able to launch two new products last year. That was Bevencio uh, in immuno-oncology and Mavenclad in, in multiple uh, sclerosis. We have uh, other interesting prospects in the pipeline, again, in the immunology, oncology, uh, oncology space so we feel that our pipeline is doing very well and actually we're in a situation that we have to prioritize very hard and invest only in those projects that are most promising um, Stefan let's uh, let's talk a little bit about liquid uh, LCDs um, Analysts often talk about this being the kind of the weak link. Uh, it is their number one concern. They talk about it quite often in notes. Are, are you going to hang on to it? What would make you hang on to it? And what would make you want to maybe offload that part of the business as well? Well, you know, the, the liquid crystal business has been carrying us for, for quite a while. It still is our most profitable, our most profitable business. We see enhanced competition, especially in the, in the Chinese market where local manufacturers are, are catching up. On the other hand, there is no liquid crystal technology on the market that has not been invented, uh, invented by us. And the secret to success is further innovation. We are developing new modes of, uh, of liquid crystal technology and we are also active in other important display areas such as OLED or quantum materials. So we think that we will continue to innovate in this space and th thus be able uh, to command premium prices over competition. Stefan Guy focused on the uh, LCD business. I'm really focused on the oncology business and the uh, competition between Merck KGA and, uh, and U.S. Merck. Um, how are you going to catch up here in oncology? Should, should investors be prepared for more R&D spending? Yeah, we had announced to the, to the capital markets that we will also this year increase our R&D spending. We're with Bavencio. We're in a very successful partnership with 
uh, with Pfizer, we've been focusing on some very specialized uh, indications. So we, uh, you know, uh, indications such as melanoma competition uh, was ahead of us, but there are other indications. We have been, uh, we've been launching the product in Merkel cell carcinoma, that is a, that is a rare skin cancer in bladder cancer, we are active in ovarian cancer, in, in, many, in, in many other areas. So we feel that the oncology space, there is so much innovation needed and uh, that uh, we have a chance to be successful in this area. Stefan Oshman, congratulations on the anniversary. Um, I'm sure it's going to be quite a day with you hosting the Chancellor a little bit later on. Thank you very much indeed for spending some time with us here this morning. Uh, Merck KGAA CEO Stefan Oshman uh, joining us from Darmstadt.